going to discuss about the systems of human body. You know there are various types of systems in our body. So in this section we are going to discuss about two systems in our body. When we are doing some activities like running, playing, dancing, riding bicycles and even we are not doing anything uh, for example when when you are sleeping and laying in the bed or sitting several reactions take place in our body even we are not doing anything you know uh, there are various biological processes take place in our body what are the biological processes for example respiration food digestion movement excretion these are the biological some of the biological processes uh, take place in our body so energy is needed to do these activities to do these reactions so how the energy is taken the energy is taken by burning the food burning the food with oxygen in the cells so we are going to discuss about these reactions okay so how the simple food and oxygen give energy how the simple food and oxygen give energy to us to do the activities simple food and oxygen both of them combine together and give energy. Okay. In day to day life, we take the food. We take food. Normally, we take complex food. So, these complex food are broken into simple components by the digestive system. Complex food are broken into simple components by the digestive system. And we need what? Oxygen. So supply oxygen by the respiratory system. Respiratory system supply oxygen. Now we are going to discuss about these two systems. Digestive system and respiratory system. Digestive system of man. That means Okay. You know in day to day life we take food. These food are complex and also large particles. So these large particles and complex food items cannot be absorbed by our body. It is difficult. So breaking down of food into simple substances is called food digestion. Yes, the breaking down of food into simple substances we call it as food digestion then these simple substances can be easily absorbed to our body so how we take place first you know uh, we take the food particle or a large food particle into our mouth inside our mouth there are teeth there are teeth so combining teeth and saliva in our mouth complete the mechanical digestion mechanical digestion by teeth with the saliva okay the food particle become into small food particle in our mouth by the mechanical digestion of teeth teeth with saliva okay then what will happen these small food particles so Small, small food particles in our mouth. They become simple food particles by chemical digestion. So, this chemical digestion is happening in our digestive system. The small food particles in our mouth pass through the long digestive tract and become to chemical digestion by the digestive juices. So these digestive juices are secreted by the different organs in the digestive system. 
there are several types of organs in our digestive system. So, from the uh, digestive juices are secreted by these organs. Then, we come into simple food particles. So, small food particles become into simple food particles by chemical digestion of digestive juices. Then, what will happen? These simple food particles are absorbed to our body. Lastly, absorption. These simple food particles. Okay, now you can realize, you can understand that this is not a easy process. This is a big process. So, one organ cannot done this type of process. So, several organs are contribute to these processes. So, it is take place in step by step in several organs. Step by step, digestion is happening. There are two main functions in digestive system. What are these two main functions? First one is conversion of complex food particles into simple food particles. Conversion of complex food particles into simple food particles. Second function is absorption simple food particles to the body. That means absorption. So these are the two functions in digestive system. Okay. Now we are going to discuss about the organs of digestive system. Okay, this is the digestive system in our body. Turn to page number 21. Here you can see the digestive system. And you can find, you can see the organs. What are the organs? There are several organs. We can learn these organs one by one. Okay, first this is the mouth cavity. You can see the mouth cavity. And there are salivary glands. These are the salivary glands secrete saliva and this is pharynx this is this this is this part this is pharynx and this one esophagus esophagus then what is this one this is your stomach this is the stomach and this is behind the stomach we can see pancreas pancreas uh, i will tell the singer names also isu pages me anusrota stomach that is amashaya then pancreas agnashaya then liver you know about the liver akmava then here gallbladder gallbladder mean pittashaya and this is small intestine kuda badavela and this is large intestine maha badavela then appendix onduka puchchaya then rectum guda marga anus guda so these are the organs we can see in your digestive system so combining these organs to the digestion in our body so you can see here there are several types of organs they do several types of functions and this is not an easy task okay now we are going to learn the functions of various organs these are various organs so we should know what are the functions of each and every organ let's discuss those Let's discuss about the functions of various organs of the human digestive system. Uh, first organ is mouth cavity. The first you take the food into your mouth. So in the mouth cavity there are several functions are happen. Break down of food particles into small pieces. There are teeth in our mouth. So, uh, by the teeth, break, break down the food particles into small pieces. So, that means mechanical 
digestion. We called it as mechanical digestion. So, mm, there are salivary glands in the mouth cavity. So, saliva secretes from these salivary glands. So, it is help to the digestion of the food. So, uh, begin in the chemical digestion of food by saliva. That means, the food we take mix with saliva by tongue and start the chemical digestion. So, in the mouth cavity, mechanical digestion is happen and also start the chemical digestion. Then, food goes to the pharynx. What is pharynx? We called it as in Sinhala as Rasanikava. So, it is common cavity of the digestive tract and the larynx. That means this pharynx is common for digestive system and the respiratory system also. Rasanikava. This common cavity for both systems. So, what is the function of this pharynx? Push the food in the mouth cavity into esophagus. So, then esophagus. What is the use of this esophagus? Push the food in mouth cavity or pharynx into the stomach. Push the food into the stomach. Then stomach. So, it is a muscular sac. So, it is a bag, it's like a bag uh, made from muscles. So, it's called as a muscular sac, our stomach. So, here there are digestive juices in the stomach. So, these juices are acidic in nature, acidic nature. So, the digestion is efficient in the stomach because of this acidic digestive juices. So, food is stored in the stomach for about 3 hours. So, 3 hours food is stored in our stomach. So, within these 3 hours food is digested further by mixing digestive juices. Then food transfers to the small in intestine. Small intestine. So, it is very long folded tube. It is about 6 meter long folded tube. Here also there are digestive juices. Different types of uh, di digestive juices. So different types of food digest with these juices. So here digestion is completed. So in the small intestine digestion is completed and absorb food, digestive food to the body. So, remember this thing. In the small intestine, digestion is completed and absorb digestive food into the body. So, in this small intestine, there are finger-like projections. We call those as villi. So, so these villi increase the surface for efficient digestion. Increase the surface area. So, digestion will be efficient in the small intestine. Then, the rest of the food transfers to the large intestine. So, this large intestine is shorter than the small intestine. But, is considerably broad. So, here, absorb water. So, what is the use of large int intestine? Absorption of water. Then lastly, rest part of the food transferred to the anus. So, anus is the terminal end of the digestive system. So, semi-solid feces is released through the anus. Semi-solid feces is released through the anus. So, now you know what are the functions of digestive system. So, you should know what are the organs in digestive system and also what are the functions of those.